Hello guys, it's Vula here and today's video we're going to be reviewing a new game on Roblox called Murum Cultivation where the aim of the game is simply to cultivate, get stronger and fight people. So let's get right into the video. First off we have game mechanics which are actually nice because they're choppy. Uh, I say they're choppy like they're not as like oh okay that works works now they sometimes don't work as well you sometimes have to reset for them they're a little bit choppy but what I do like about this game like unlike the other new games is that they have all the basics down like they've got it everything the shift lock is nicely working they've got a block button which is F oh you have to hold combat hold combat block button now the block doesn't break from my experience fighting people which is a bit mm, but if it does and I just haven't got it broken yet, then you guys tell me down in the comments below. Um, punch is nice. It really reminds me of ABA. I like that, this kind of PvP. Um, dash, oh, roll. Roll is nice as well. Like, that's a nice roll. The cooldown is on it's really nice. The running is amazing. Now, in any game, one of the big things in any game is movement. I love this type of running. To be able to run around like this and dash and run. That is crazy. Now this also is a bit eh -eh, like <laughs> what? <laughs> but if you guys have been watching or have watched any manhwa, read any manhwa about the Murum, you know they be flying and shit inside of those. So I guess I'm not even gonna complain heavily. But yeah, keeping this all in mind, like looking at the basics of the game mechanics, like everything works, it's fine. It, it, I, I like it so yeah giving game mechanics a 2.5 out of 5 let's move on to our next one which is graphics now graphics are just decent really like I'll be surreal they're nothing special they're nothing too special as you can see this house the graphics are nothing too special but I don't find anything ugly like it just looks nice it just looks cal like calm and I love how they kept the normal robots character yeah, uh, they don't mind my character right now. He's a bit, he's looking a bit dripped out, a little bit too dripped out. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, I like how they make it. The normal Rimbus character looks cooler. Of course, you have people coming like this, like, bro, what in the world am I seeing right now? <laughs> but yeah, I like how it's your character, not a specific character like in the Sao game or something. Yeah, absolutely. If anyone who's watched my Sword Art Online, uh, Sword I my Aincrad video, World of Aincrad, that's what it's called. Knows I hate that game. I've beefed with that game. <laughs> but yeah. Good job to them on being able to have your own character. I do love the map. It reminds me of a Demon Slayer type game. It really definitely hits the cultivation type aspect. Even as you explore the map, it just gets better and better. Like, look at this. It just looks nice. It actually just looks nice. It does kind of... It, it gives an open world aspect as well. Also really nice. So yeah is good for the models to be like this now the hud the herd is a bit crazy this i don't like the way they show up maybe i'm tripping it looks a bit jammy it looks a bit like like this this type of it just looks a bit jammy to me like i don't know why they should be around it maybe it's just those little touches but you know guys, you guys definitely know what i'm saying but it's not gonna affect the rating that much like it's nothing crazy but for me i would like it to be a little like these are even rounded why are these not rounded then like but hey i would give hmm, i love the korean setting i love the chinese setting the asian setting i'm not trying to be racist or none none like that i'm just trying to say yeah so i'm gonna give it a 2.5 out of 5 nothing crazy but they're decent they're definitely improving the future and i'm looking forward to it now I've played the game a little bit, right now the game isn't that challenging in my experience because it's kind of just the same thing, you just cultivate, um, you can go to different areas in the map and cultivate for multipliers, so and so, so and so, um, you fight bandits occasionally or bosses but I guess that will come like it will get more challenging as the game gets updated. Most people in this game actually don't even know what to do in the game. so. Hey, like, it can't be that challenging. That's why I'm giving challenging a poor 2 out of 5. Which, for a new game, hey, like, 
I'm 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 really I'm really sweetening them up right now. <laughs> Let's move on to content. Content is also a bit lacking. It's just repetitive, as I've said, and challenging. It's just repetitive rather than different. But the quality of the content in the game is decent. Like the meditation, it goes up as you go up. Uh, have you checked that again? Stats. Yeah, it just goes up, and it's nice to see that. It's nice content. It makes sense. Nothing crazy. No, extremely hard to understand. Nothing too extremely, nothing extremely hard to understand. Um, good quality content. Anyone can understand that. When you get to eight hundred thousand, what's it called? When you get to eight hundred thousand in your stats or my stats, that I'm going to make a breakthrough. It's simple. I like that. So I gave content a two out of five. Amongst the other things that are in the game, like finding bandits, a big map, bosses. So yeah, content two out of five. It does need a lot more and it needs a lot more quality content um they could fix a little few things that's just gonna and it's the small things but yeah content two out of five let's move on to the next one the last factor which is fun now for me fun i don't even know but this game is oddly addictive it's oddly addictive because the grinding process makes it feel like a simulator so they draw you in in the grinding process but it's not actually a simulated game and you end up pvping people so i've actually had a really good time chilling on here from fighting people to grinding bandits bosses and i just have i just feel like the grind is so rewarding but they're seriously losing players because of how hard it is to find out how to play the game i've joined i joined like 10 different servers and in every single server i joined there was someone saying how do you play how do you play how do you play like you guys see what i'm trying to say the, for me that didn't affect me because i knew i could i could work my way around it i'm going to be making videos on how to play the game anyway so you guys can check those out for me it didn't really it didn't it didn't bother me but obviously other people are not going to find the game as fun as me who knows how to play the game so yeah keeping that in mind i gave that fun a three out of five rating that that was my honest opinion i actually enjoy this game a lot i don't know why it's just addictive so yeah let's move on that brings the total rating to 12 out of 25 which for a new game i'd say is a very good rating i find the game very fun you'll see a lot of videos on this game on my channel most definitely if you're from my other games like super league soccer or legend of immortals a lot more content will be coming out in due time remember to like comment and subscribe to the channel and peace.